Hey, what's up everybody? This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ajla from Erudite Nutrition. We are back here talking about diabetes and the food group that we are going to start with is sugars. Common table sugar and jaggery, honey, aspartame and stevia. We are going to discuss about all these five sugars. Okay, so number one, starting off with common table sugar. Common table sugar is made from sugar cane. Sugar cane is uh, after the sugarcane juice is extracted, it is highly concentrated, heat treated, bleached and chemically treated to change its chemical structure and it is condensed into these granules, these crystals of sugar that we use in each and every product that has been highly chemically prepared by a number of steps. In no way this is safe for your body. Table sugar is not safe for your body, especially if you're a diabetic, it is toxic for you. Some people advocate, we have been using uh, sugar for centuries. Let me tell you one thing. In the 18th century, the French came in India and they established the first ever sugar plant, the, the sugar mill, first ever sugar mill. And that also was not operating throughout the 18th century. Later on in the 19th century and post independence of India, a lot of sugar mills were started. We are not consuming sugar, the table sugar that I'm talking about, we are not consuming that table sugar from centuries as many of the people will mislead you. Okay, we have been using natural sweeteners. They are not concentrated as concentrated as the common table sugar. So what does this common table sugar does to our body when we take it with some food or in a drink? It readily gets converted into simple compounds which are then shifted into your blood, raising your blood sugar levels to a high point. Toxic, deadly, not a recommendable level. We need to keep our blood sugar levels low. You already know that if you are a diabetic. So what can we do? Just simply make lifestyle changes, okay? Avoid the table sugar throughout. Even if it is brown sugar, even if, uh, if it is mineral sugar, it is going to have the same effect on your body. It is going to raise your blood glucose levels. We do not want that. Coming up next is jaggery. So many people are misguided in this, uh, in this country. I meet these people almost every day. They quit on sugars and they start taking jaggery in their milk, in their tea, in their food. Jaggery is also a concentrated form of sugarcane juice. Not recommendable. It is going to give you the same effect that common table sugar is going to give you. That is a high level of blood glucose, which is a toxic state for your body. Number three, it's honey. Honey may be a good source of antibacterial, antifungal properties and anti-inflammatory properties, a natural form of sugar. But in the case of diabetes, it is not recommendable. Why? Same effect as table sugar. The amount of honey or the amount of sugar that you consume is going to have absolutely the same effect. It is going to raise up your blood glucose levels. Okay, so do not consume sugar, jaggery or honey. So coming up next, next is the most famous alternative of table sugar, sugar free tablets or sugar free powder. I am simply not recommending the addition of sugar free in any form in your any food. Please do not consume it. The reason the chemical structure of sugar uh, of sugar free is actually when when ingested breaks down into formaldehyde. Yes, it does not have a bad effect on your blood glucose level. We are clear with that. It does not have a bad effect on your insulin levels. We are clear with that also. But that sugar free that you're eating in place of the table sugar is going to broke it's going to get broken down into formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a known carcinogenic that is a cancer causing agent. Okay. So in no way a compound that breaks down into another compound that is cancer causing in any way safe for human cons consumption. I don't even know why are they allowing such products into market. Totally you have to stay away from sugar free. And last but not the least, it's stevia. Stevia is a natural plant that is 200 times more sweeter than common table sugar. 
Stevia does not affect your blood glucose level. Many clinical trials have been done on that. Many live people have done trials on, on themselves and everybody has reported no significant or no change whatsoever in their blood glucose levels after the consumption of Stevia. Okay, so now do I recommend it? Before answering that question, let me tell you one thing. This was only one time in my life that I have had Stevia and I plugged the Stevia leaf right from the ground from the plant and I ate it and it was sweet. This was the only time I ever ate Stevia. You want to eat Stevia, you are a diabetic person, it's your wish. What are my recommendations for that is you keep a form of Stevia in your kitchen, use it every once a fortnight. That's it. Use it twice in a month for some special occasions when you feel that you you are having an awe for you are in a mood of relaxing or maybe you made some homemade dessert or something like that. Use stevia in that. Do not exhaust your healthy option. That is my only request to you guys. Stay tuned for more videos because we are going to discuss more food groups for diabetic people. This was Afar. Now, if you have any doubts regarding this video, you can post me down in the comment section or you can DM me on my Instagram or Facebook. If you have not yet liked my page, do like my page in Erudite Nutrition on Instagram, on Facebook, and also follow my YouTube channel. And stay up to date, stay healthy, and eat healthy, and take care of yourselves. Enjoy, everybody. Take care.